of the Macon Library proudly present Masquerade on Macon, Tales from the Dead and Dying. Order up. Plate of wings. Bloody Mary. Oh, negative. Um, excuse me. These are bat. I ordered raven. Magaroni and cheese. Coming right up. I hope they're open. I'm starving. Order up. Finally. Take your time, why don't you? Relax. Nobody's going anywhere anytime soon. Be with you in a minute, hon. Sit wherever you like. Who ordered the scream of broccoli soup? I think there's a hair in here. <laughs> I put an extra one in there for you. Welcome to the Dead End Diner. How you doing tonight, babe? Okay, thanks. Uh, glad to be up the road. Can I get you started with something to drink? Uh, just a water, please. Seasoned to perfection. Rat a tui. Hold the tui. Order up. Okay, who ordered the chip beef on toes? Arda choked to death dip. <laughs> Boy, they sure have some colorful names on this menu. Now where is my pencil? I can't seem to find the darn thing. Does anybody have a pencil? There's one. Thanks, hon. I'd swear I'd lose my head if it wasn't sewn on. What? Never you mind. Have you decided what you want, hon? Uh, yeah, I'll have the fingers. Chicken fingers, I'm guessing. You're funny. I'll put that right in for you. And a water. Right. Sorry. Strange place. So, what brings you out this way? I'm on my way to a writer. Oh, you're a writer? Most of the time. What do you write? Horror. My favorite. Yeah? Oh, sure. I love scary stories. Tell me something. What's the scariest story you've ever heard? That's a good question. Gosh. One time, I was at a slumber party. My girlfriend Terry told us all this story. I can hardly see anything. What's that? Hi there. Need a lift? Oh, yes, please. Get in. Terrible night. You're not kidding. You live around here? Just a few miles up the road. What's your name? Lori. I'm Matt. You go to school around here? Yes, at the university. I'm pre-med. Ah, uh, gonna go save some lives. <laughs> I hope so. I'm just hoping I can pass my finals. Oh, you'll ace them. Look out! Ah. Thank you. God. That was a close one. <sighs> well, you're welcome. See? Saving lives already. <laughs> is this it? Uh, yeah, this is me. You know what? I'm glad it rained. Can I call you sometime? Sure. Got a pen? Good night. Her scarf! Hi, is Lori there? No, of course not. She left this in my car. What are you talking about? What kind of sick joke is this? Get off my property. Ma'am, wait, just a minute, please. See, my name's Matt Brunvind. I just dropped Lori off a few minutes ago after giving her a ride home. She, she left this in, in the car. Where did you get this? This was Lori's favorite scarf. So I wanted to return it to her. Lori, left this in your car? T 
tonight? And you say she came here? Yes, she came right up to the front door. I saw her. She said she lives here. I'm sorry, Matt. It's just that Lori is dead. What? No, that can't be. She just... I just... Uh... It was three years ago tonight. It was raining hard. The biggest storm we've had in years. And my daughter was on her way home. She crashed into another car less than a mile from here. And, and she was killed instantly. It's an old one, I think. I heard it when I was little, and that was a long time ago. Order up. Excuse me, but did you order the hamburger? The what now? Oh, never mind. I remember now. Excuse me. Can I ask you something? Sure. What's the scariest story you've ever heard? A good question. You know, my Uncle Peter told me a story once. I never knew if he was telling the truth or not, but he sure seemed serious. It was about something that happened to him and his best friend Hank when they were boys. I don't believe you, Hank. Come on, Peter. I'll show you. The carnival? What are we doing here? You'll see. There's nobody here. But wait, who's that? Shh. I still don't believe what you said about it. You wait. I saw it happen. I don't know how, but it did. You know how carnivals are all funny? This one's even funnier. There's Mr. Cougar, the carnival man, now. Sorry, folks, the Ferris wheel is temporarily closed for, uh, routine maintenance. But don't worry, we've got lots more amusement for you. The carousel is just this way, best in the country. Bring those wallets back tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, for more thrills and chills. It's our last day in town. Bye now. Finally, not a soul in sight. Oh, I do love a Ferris wheel. <laughs> Makes me feel <laughs> like a kid again. <laughs> oh, time to take you for a ride. <laughs> See? The Ferris wheel's going the wrong way. Backward instead of forward. So what? Watch. Where's Mr. Cougar? You wouldn't believe me? Now see. Where's Mr. Cougar at? Come on, quick, run. <laughs> oh, you poor dear. What are you doing out here all by yourself? I'm an orphan, ma'am. Merciful heavens, what's your name? J Joseph, ma'am. Joseph Pikes. You must be starving. Yes, ma'am, and cold. We'll take care of that. You come with me now. That was Mrs. Foley, the richest woman in town? That's the one, and that creepy little boy following after her like a puppy dog. He's up to something. I'm cold, Hank. I want to go home. First, we're going to go over to Mrs. Foley's and see what's going on. Come on. There he is. Peter, I didn't like his looks from the first. He looked mean. 
What do you think he's doing here? Whatever it is, it's not good. Everyone in the state knows how rich Mrs. Foley is. He's not here by accident. Oh, come on. You look freezing. Come in. My goodness. What do you want? You're Henry Watterson, aren't you? Can we see you alone, ma'am? We got to warn you about something. It's about that boy in the other room. Well? He's from the carnival, and he ain't a boy. He's a man, and he's probably planning on something bad. Maybe stealing your money and running off with it in the middle of the night, and people will look for him, but they'll be looking for a little 10-year-old little boy, not a 35-year-old man named Mr. Cougar. What are you talking about? The carnival and the strange man, Mr. Cougar. The Ferris wheel going backward and making him younger. You can't trust him. Because when he has your money, he'll get on the Ferris wheel and it'll go forward and it'll be 35 years old again and the boy will be gone forever. Good night, Henry Watterson. Don't ever come back. Oh, that was real smart, Hank. <sighs> Suppose he heard us. Suppose he comes and kills us in our beds tonight to shut us up. He wouldn't do that. What are we still doing here? Let's get going before he comes out to get us. Nah, now that he knows someone's on to him, I think he'll make his move tonight. And we're the only ones who can stop him. Chuck! There he is with the money. Go after him. Hurry, Pete. We can't let him get to the Ferris wheel before we do. If he changes back into a man, we'll never prove anything. I am hurrying. We're too late. It's moving. He's getting older. Freaky. <laughs> nice try, kiddos. You didn't really think you could outwit a showman, did you? Got to do something. But what? Hey, you can stay away from there. Don't you touch that. That's it. I warned you. Now I'm coming for you. Well, stop right now or you'll be sorry. No, that's too fast. I can't get off. Stop. Stop! Stop the wheel! Stop! Stop the wheel! Stop! Stop! Oh, please stop the wheel! Stop! Stop! Stop the wheel! Stop! should be out shortly. I'm good, thanks. He was just telling me a scary story. Your favorite? By the way, have you written anything I may have read? Maybe. Let me see. I think I have a copy in here. What did you say this place was called? The Dead End Diner. Honey, I've never been here before. Ah, oh, I love short stories. The Vanishing Hitchhiker, The Black Ferris, The Lost Writer. Wait, those aren't my stories. Here's your name right here, dear. Best-selling author, John Curtis. 
order up. Here you go, dear. Thanks. Well, that's the end of my graveyard shift. Hope I can find a ride home at this hour. Wait, miss? Uh, yeah. Oh, did I forget something? Did you need ketchup? No, it, it's just... What's your name? <laughs> you know my name, silly. It's Lori. I'm Darcy. And I'm Peter. But you can call me Uncle Pete. What are these? The fingers, hon. Same thing you order every night. I... I've, I've never been here before. Don't you remember? You're tired and hungry. It's raining hard. You turn onto a street, but it's a dead end. Then you see the lights of the diner. I'm, uh, I'm on my way to a writer's retreat. But you never make it there. No. It, it can't be. I, I, I just stopped for a quick bite before I got on my way again. Dedicated in loving memory to John Curtis, killed in an accident on October 31st, 2022. Oh, honey, I've been there. May his stories live forever. <laughs> if they only knew. No, th this can't be real. I hope they're open. I'm starving. Order up. Finally. Nobody's going anywhere, anytime soon. Be with you in a minute, hon. Sit wherever you like. 